All right, come on, Hunter. You can do this, buddy. They're going to think you're a star. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Hunter at RV Nation here in Ohio. And today I've got an awesome fifth wheel for you with one of the coolest bunk bed setups with two beds, one queen bed underneath and a queen bed loft. This thing is absolutely sick. Ton of storage space as well. New 2023 options, slight decal change, mirrored window finish, all new decor. All of this you're gonna see in this video. But if you guys like RV videos and value what I'm doing, if you guys could please hit that like and subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. I am in a sales position here at RV Nation. My contact information will be down in the description as well. I would love to hear from you, tell you a little bit about our stellar pricing and why we are one of the country's largest dealerships. But I'm gonna start on the inside and then work my way around, probably do this thing in about 20 minutes. But again, it's the 2023 Arctic Wolf 3770 Suite. You guys are going to love it. But since this is a bunk bed model, I figured I'd start in the back, work my way up to the front, give you a little rundown, a little peek a rooney of everything that this bad boy has to offer. Hope you guys like it. Hope to see you guys next time. And just in case you didn't catch it, it's the 2023 Arctic Wolf 3770 Suite. This is the back bunk room. Let me step over here from the living room entrance. But right away, this thing stands out. There's a lump under here. That's because there is the ladder that goes up into this loft. But you got a queen bed here, massive windows for a ton of natural lighting. You're also going to notice this is an emergency exit. So push and pop. You guys are out. They also have the shades that drop down so you can get your Dracula on and block out the sun. Over here, there is a lot of good storage, a little clicker light, USB ports and outlets. And then this nice little um, little shelf or cabinet, you know, kind of whatever you want to call it, with some storage here underneath. Let me take a little sit down right here. Man, I really hope you guys are in the mood for a great weekend. If nothing else, if I don't hear from you again, you don't like, you don't subscribe, you never call me to buy, I just hope you enjoy it. It is a holiday weekend. A lot of us are going to have, you know, some good time off from work. I hope you're one of them gonna be beautiful it's gonna be a great time for sure i'm going to a football game tonight usb ports and outlets up there for your charging and uh that little shelf right there you know for some storage but yeah i'm gonna go do some canoeing a lot of fun stuff with the family a little y bracket right here so you can you know plug up your tv hold it there you got the appropriate satellite and outlets another little window right here for even more natural lighting that's one of the reasons I just love this brand. They're doing so many good things. And it's got the mirrored finish, but you can see it still has a nice tint on it. The mirrored finish also has some UV protection, so it won't kind of, uh, you know, some campers over the years, if you're beating down on the sun on the inside, you know, it'll kind of bleach out some of that, you know, pleatherish uh, furniture. But that really helps go a long way for the longevity of your unit. This is the half bath, so it's own separate entrance. I like it's got a door so you can sit down, be real friendly with the camp neighbors. I'm sure they'd appreciate that. Got yourself a little sink right here. This is your um, caps there for the back bumper, but they're sitting there in the sink. Outlets. There's your light switch. You got a mirror. That's my bowling arm. That bad boy's averaging a 200 in my sanction league, so pretty proud of that. Up top on the roof, there is a max air fan, so you can... Uh, you know, just flip that open. You can turn the fan on if you'd like. But yeah, you get kind of the gist of that all right there with one click of a button. I'll close that back up. Oh, shoot. I'm doing all sorts of stuff. Fan off. But that's that back room. Now let's go ahead and move up into the living room and kitchen. And this is where that new decor really gets shown off. Some previous models, you know, the 2022 it was this dark brown decor, didn't quite fit right with the modern era. And I like how they went with this wood block. A lot of places seem to be doing it. They're selling extremely well, um, but I love the look for sure. But yeah, check out a 2022 video I did if you wanna kind of see the difference. But you got two slides here in this. You have opposing slides. So this is gonna be you know your refrigerator with your oven, all that good stuff over here. And then on this side, it's gonna be your super slide. So nice tall high wide slides gives you this absolutely massive couch for just one some sit down chilling times 
you know, during those rainy days where you're stuck inside the camper or if you're sitting down watching a movie, place for the whole family to sit down and enjoy. Plus, you can get some extra sleeping right there. You know, if you got kind of the, uh, maybe if the fun neighbor had a couple too many drinks, plop them down on the couch. Both sides are also going to feature massage, light, and heat. So that's pretty nice. Again, that is on both sides. So the other control is going to be right over there on that one. But look at how big these windows are. Man, I love it. Hopefully you got a nice view out there, not of just of the RV lot. They're all going to also have zebra shades and they open as well. So these two open, you know, for a nice little cross breeze for you. But see, so you got the kind of the half the lights out, all the lights out, get your Dracula on, you know, or none at all. Enjoy that mirror finished tent. These also do kick up. They are recliners. So you just pull this little tab right here and the leg will kick out and you're sitting down chilling. Right across from here, I don't have the TV set up, but there is a TV for this one. Down here, you got yourself your space heater and that'll heat up this entire room on a day where it's about 40 degrees and a little chilly. They're also featuring the new and improved audio system. So that's it right there. Basically, it's a Bluetooth connection for zone one and two. It's gonna be inside outside. So you can play all of your music, all of your tunes, just right off your phone with a simple Bluetooth connection. Very cool feature. Love that they added that. If you need to charge your devices, two USB ports, two outlets, TV, and your satellite. And then you got your bracket. You got the textured glass right there, looking sharp. A little bit of storage there behind it. Let's see here. Yeah, so right up here, you got yourself one of your two ACs, both of which you can open up either side for a dump valve. If you want this room, if you guys are in a, you know, in here chilling out watching that movie, you can sit down and really just, you know, open that up and pour in the heat. Get that over. It says an island kitchen model. Again, they got the wood block decor with the little black glass finish right there, which I'm a fan of. Two USB ports, two outlets. Also some pretty good counter space in this camper. Without this, it would be probably pretty severely lacking. Then you got a pretty good amount of storage and you got your farm style sink, the uh, black stainless steel, which is always nice, always a fan favorite. A lot of people love this style in particular. And you have your high rise faucet where you can disconnect that snake and kind of move it around, you know, hit the dishes from all angles. Here underneath, some access to your plumbing and some storage. Right there, more storage. And then right here, more storage. So you have three of these drawers, all of which, you know, are gonna be the same. Except for this top one's got those little dividers right there, you know, to maybe keep your, your spoons and your forks and all that stuff separate. This other slide that we had mentioned before, not as wide, not as tall, doesn't need to be. This is where you're gonna do all your cooking. So you get a little bit of storage right here. And then you have yourself your microwave, your high point microwave. Fit yourself about four bags of popcorn. Light fan, new backsplash, outlets, good countertop space. And then you have your graystone oven, three stove top burner. Turn on this light right there to light up those knobs. And then right in here, you know, cook yourself up a pizza, you know, and enjoy right there. You also have some more storage here up underneath. And then to the left as well, you have one pull-out drawer. Oh, I got sneeze. <coughs> ah, bless me. Excuse me, guys. Thank you. More storage right in here. And, uh, yeah. Then you got your uh, General Electric 12-volt refrigerator. So that's always a perk. It runs off the battery. Or in this case, it's running off my jump box. But as you can see, enough room in here, you know, to fit a, a weekend's worth of groceries, no problem. Or in most campers' uh, position, a shit ton of beer. Good storage here up above. And yeah. New lighting fixture with that kind of bubbled glass look. You can turn on some accent lighting, which I'll show you here in a little bit. It's a nice ambient blue, ambient blue glow to it. So at night, you know, when you're getting some snacks, if I leave that open, the lady at home is going to yell at me. She always says it looks like Poltergeist comes in there every time I go get his snack. 
And I'm not getting in trouble for a YouTube video, I can tell you that. So right here, you got yourself your fan. It's pretty nice. Yeah. And you got a pantry. It even tells you so. That's how you know it's a pantry without ever opening it. Double door. You got the magnetic latch right here. This is going to be your cutting board uh, for the top here of that so it all blends in, you know, and matches. But some good pantry space. And then also behind this cardboard port right there, you got some access to some of your, you know, your some of your electric stuff, um, which is always a plus. You know, it makes it nice and easy. So dual entry. This one has the solid entry steps. Got your little fire extinguisher. And then right in front of the door as you walk in, you got your control panel up here, fuse box right there, a couple little night lights. You'll see how that turned on automatically. That's pretty cool. And then you have your interior lights. I'll show you what that is. So that's going to be what I was telling you about with that blue glow. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. I just got a text from my soon-to-be wife here in a month. She said, how much do you love me? I'm sorry I bought it. It was on accident. Ah, that's a good time to play. Please like and subscribe. I have a very expensive family at home, and I would greatly appreciate it. Even better. Don't subscribe. Just buy all your RVs for me for life. I'm going to need it. Oh, brother. Awning one, awning two. So there's two awnings on this. I'll show you here on the outside portion. And then slide one, two, and three all up in the same area along with your water heater, uh, which is the new Furion tankless water heater, which is nice. Water pump, Bluetooth connects. You can control all this from your phone on the rainy days. And then what is going on? I might have to stop this. She is just blowing me up right now. You know what? It's all right. Okay. Right here, you got yourself your uh, bathroom. I'm sorry, I'm very distracted. She told me some, something about acetone on the finish for the countertops. Goodness gracious. Access to your plumbing there behind that panel. And then right here, you got yourself a sink with some outlets. A little night light. We'll show you the bowling arm again. Don't forget, 200 average. Needs to get up to about 220, though. That's the year's goal for me. Then you got yourself a shower. I'll show you that. Pretty good size shower. You know, I'm a bigger dude, six foot, 300 pounds. I can fit in there and clean myself without having to tape sponges to the wall. And then right here's your tent. Fantastic fan. <laughs> oh, no. She said maybe she could fix it with resin. Good God. Please, uh, at this point. <laughs> All right, I got to get through this video. I apologize, guys. I live a very interesting life outside of selling RVs, apparently. Oh, man, I'm distracted. Here's the bedroom. Um, <laughs> it, it's a nice bedroom. Um, you got yours. I'm rattled. You got a slide right here. New back area. You got windows on the side, which both open up uh, for, uh, you know, a nice little cross breeze. Interestingly enough, this has not only one closet, but sort of two. So right over here, you got some room for your hanging items, washer and dryer prep, so hot and cold water, along with the outlets that you need to use it, two USB ports, two more outlets. Got an emergency exit window, just push and pop. You guys are out. That comes with the blind as well. You got yourself a bracket, cable TV hookup, and the outlets. And then you also have a couple dresser drawers. And some more storage. There's the 39-inch TV that'll go up there in the living room or right here in the bedroom, whichever way you prefer it. But this is pretty interesting in here. So you got your little desk set up. You got a countertop right there for some storage, USBs and outlets. And then this nice little desk where you can put your laptop down in there, a place to put a chair. Really cool setup. More and more people are kind of working on the road these days, you know, and that's nice to have. And this is going to be your closet. So two clicker lights, a bar for some hanging items. And then some storage there up underneath. Oh, goodness gracious. I have a feeling it's going to be a rough night. You know, we had plans to go to the, to the football game. and But judging by the amount of text I'm getting, I don't think, uh, I think we're going to be, I think I'm in some trouble. 
two outlets, a place where you can hang up a Bluetooth speaker. And then down here, if I can get the kit. Whoa. All right. We're not going to show you that, but there's some storage there up underneath. This is a wonky little video, guys. But that about wraps up the inside portion of the store. And if you guys like this video or, you know, how sympathetic for my breakdown here, I'd love it if you hit that like and subscribe button. Again, 2023 Arctic Wolf 3770 Sweet. Now I'm going to head outside. Show you some things that I like. Okay, so first off, decal changes. Those are minor. A couple little different colors, a couple little things. But you can see right there, the mirrored finish. That is freaking sweet. On the front, you got some LED lights that running by, run by, run down. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Rhino box, that gives you that extra big closet up there. Allows you to have 15 more percent space up in the front. Docking light switch is right here. Spare tire, a little bit of storage. Um, electric auto level. So it's going to be a four-point leveling system. This camper quite possibly has some of the largest underbelly storage here in the market. It also has welded, welded at all points there on the frame, which is always nice. But check that out. I mean, that is pretty cool. That's a selling point, you know, in its own right. Definitely separates it. Two outlets and your plug-in for your cable TV hookup. That is access here from the outside in. Two marine grade speakers, that's gonna be zone two. One of two awnings. So you got two awnings right there, one here and one there. Dual axle. Solid entry steps here for the half bath. An outdoor kitchen. So you got this really nice size contour outdoor refrigerator. Then you have your ice maker. Two outlets. Some storage and a plumbed in sink so you don't have to pick it up and drain it all the time. And then right here, you got your two stove top burner suburban. Oh my God, babe. What is going on at my house right now? Guys, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm going to post this anyway because that would be a colossal waste of time not to, but the whole world is falling apart. Oh my goodness. I'm getting blown up right now. Okay, so. Oh, it's a storage rack. It just drops down, put some storage on there, some bikes, some totes, whatever you guys want to do. <laughs> oh, man. And then you've got your backup camera prepped up for your Lippert ladder. This is where we're going to plug in the camper. More storage. And I do like that, how it's magnetic. So you got that metal part right there, and then boom, just like that. Then you get your sewer outlet connection and your sewage holding tank right there along with the valves. Back end of the Furion water heater, outside shower with hot and cold water, cable satellite, fresh water connection, city water connection, black tank flush. That is for, um, you know, your... Uh, your sewer tanks, the sprinkler system in there, knocks off the TP, you know, and all that nasty stuff you guys don't want to deal with. The other end of the pass-through storage, that's going to be your electric leveling. Still got the uh, wrapping on there from the factory. Propane behind that door, and uh, you know what? I got to head out and call the old lady and see what in the world is going on. But um, again, this was the 2023 Arctic Wolf 3770 Suite. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope to see you next time. My name is Hunter. See ya. Wah, 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 wah.